and welcome to the Virtual Guru Room. My name is Jack, your host, and today I'm bringing you episode seven of Timeless Tuesday. And once again, thank you all so much for your support on the previous episodes. Episode five, episode four, three, two, one. I can count. Fantastic. You guys crushed it. And I want you to do the same in this one as well. Give it a thumb. Put a comment in the description below. Tell me if you've ever used the product we're going to use before. Today, we are going to use, we're going to continue with shaving sticks and we're going to use Arco. Arco, a uh, bit of background on Arco, I guess. Arco is founded in Turkey. Uh, you can see here, it's basically barber's shaving soap. That's what that means in Turkish. Berba Dirash Sabunu, Sabunu. Can't say it. Um, you get 75 grams of soap here, which compared to palm olive, I think is a lot less. Or at least left on her. I know it's less. Okay, actually, no, there's more. So there's 75 grams of soap here. You, This is very, very affordable. This is probably about, um, I'd say, $2, maybe? $3? I was sent this by, I believe Michael Friedberg sent me Arco. A few things about the packaging. The, it's like this weird plastic. It might be... Okay, so it's, this is like foil, I think, that's on this. It's not too bad because it's so hard that I don't think it needs loads of protection. The foil just peels back here, as you can see, something like that. And then you just tear. We'll talk about the scent in a minute. Um, and then you just kind of pull it back like that to expose some soap. The scent. Quite honestly, the scent to me is terrible. <laughs> like, I really don't like it. The way I would describe it, it's like, almost like a lemon cleaner smell. I've heard people compare it to urinal parks, citronella candles, the same, the things that keep bugs away. But it's just not pleasant to me. Um, yeah, the, the scent isn't for me. I'd say it's like a, it's like a citrusy, synthetic citrusy scent. That's kind of how I would describe it. This is a very hard soap. Like, this isn't pliable at all. If I squeezed palm olive hard enough, I could probably put a dent in this, but you're not doing that with Arco. The packaging in general is is decent in terms of its form factor. You don't need too much more from a shaving stick. Considering how hard it actually is, I don't think the fact that it's protected all the way around is an issue. But again, if we go back to the fact that I want to air out my stick when I cover it, I don't think it's possible with this. And again, I think that's a a fault of the product. But for two dollars, you really can't can't complain at the, the form factor. It does what it needs to do. Uh, this is a tallow-based shave stick. Um, if you're a vegan, this isn't for you. If you're a vegetarian, this also isn't for you. I believe it uses, my guess is probably beef tallow, honestly. Um, it's the most accessible type of tallow. I've heard some pretty good things about the performance of Arco. A lot of people kind of talk quite highly of it. So I'm going to give it a go. The scent is terrible, but that doesn't matter. I'm just going to give it a, give it a go. My razor of choice is actually going to be the Tatara Massimune Nadachi. I'm using the Nadachi top cap and base plate for this. And the brush we're going to use to lather is this beautiful turn and shave hybrid with this 26 mil Decoration B5 knot. Yeah, let's get the face wet. And uh, we'll get to kind of etching, scratching the shave stick on the face. So this has quite a bit to live up to, this one, because palm olive and the toha for me were excellent. And frankly, palm olive and the toha were already beating, them into, beating this in terms of scent. So the performance should be pretty good for me to even consider taking it. So again, I wetted the top here, I just dipped it in some water, and we're just gonna scratch on it. Because of its hardness, it seems a little bit harder to get on the face. And going against the grain like this isn't the most comfortable thing. But we gotta get it on some way. This is very hard. Wow. 
like very hard. <laughs> I'd rather overload it than underload it, that's the problem. I think we're okay. Okay, that'll do, I think. That'll do, we'll go with that. Okay, let's get to lathering this. Shake some of the water out of the brush here, so we're kind of left with that. When the magic starts. A noticeably more like frothy start. Then both palm olive and la toja. But it's not how it starts, it's how it finishes, guys. Remember that. Very, very airy right now. The scent is just... Terrible. <laughs> I really dislike the scent. For me to even consider it, it has to blow palm olive and latoja out of the water because the scent's actually not weak. It's quite strong for me. So it's starting to build now. It's become a bit less airy. It's still quite airy though. Keep working at it. Get some water in there. Use the uh, nerdy squirt bottle. Squirt some in there. My immediate impressions are it doesn't create as good a lather either. It seems much airier. And for me, that's a bit of a slight on the product, but let's see what it does once I keep working it. We'll give it a few minutes, like we always do, kind of see what we can do with it. But at, at the moment, it seems very, very airy. Let's get the flow through here. Quite airy. Not as airy as it was when I first started, but like airier than I would generally like it. So the, the scent is, is prominent. Like if you've smelt this, you might know what I mean. It, it's definitely there <laughs> for me because of the scent. That is a negative. I'm not a fan, like I'm really not a fan. It's like a cheap lemon cleaner. Like if you decided to go like the Walmart value line cleaner. Very thin and quite airy. Even no matter how much I work it. I'm gonna paint some water in and see what that does. I'm sure this isn't just me because as you guys know, I'm pretty good at building lather. I mean, m most people, a lot of people will be happy with this. Um, I'm not saying I'm unhappy with it, but I'm saying that Compared to both La Doha and Palm Olive, it, it doesn't lather as well, in my opinion. It's, it's, it's like one of those really old puffy lathers that have quite a bit of volume, but no substance. It's like a balloon almost. Okay, we're gonna go with that. I 
I'm not, you know, too impressed at the moment, I have to say. The performance is what it is. Like, it's not terrible. At least it's lathering and not dissipating, but it's not a dense lather by any means. I can tell it's pretty slick, but it's not, it doesn't have much density. I mean, it's definitely hydrated how it needs to be. Let's go with that. Okay. Arco shave stick. Let's go with the grain. It's definitely slick. Jeez, it's really slick. Wow. That does a butt by its cover. It's very slick. Jesus Christ. <laughs> very slick. This isn't a mild razor either, it's just making it feel like a breeze. I'm impressed by the performance, I have to say. The scent is prominent though, and that really is a hindrance for me. Because it's not a nice scent. Wow. I'm impressed by this performance, guys, I have to say. Based off that first pass, I actually think the performance versus the Toha and uh, Palm Olive is a bit better, quite honestly. Jeez. Let me show you the residual slickness of that. For days. And it's, it's $2. Wow. <laughs> the scent sucks. It creates a quite an airy lather. But my oh my, it's that slick. Very slick. And quite honestly, that's all you need. Like that is all you need is slickness and it has quite a lot, like a lot of it. The scent is dreadful though. It's not like I'm neutral, like I actively don't like it. Go cross grain. Is this the Nadachi? Jeez, it is. I've, guys, I've shaved with the Nerti before, I've had it. And this is smooth. Um, and I believe the soap definitely plays part. The performance all round is good. Like, 
like I said, I'm not too impressed by its landering ability, but what it is doing is creating an incredibly slick surface on my skin. Wow, very slick. Let's do a bit of a clean up. I mean, I am impressed by how slick this is, I have to say. The problem with that is, for, for, based on my taste, now I understand sense is subjective, but based on my taste, I still wouldn't use this of uh, La Toja or Pomolo because I feel, I, I think it performs better. I have to say, I think, I think those other two create a better lather, like a denser, like slightly heavier lather, not as airy, but I think the just general performance of this, its slickness exceeds both of them. The reason why I personally wouldn't recommend using this over them, and I personally, by the way, I think it sucks. I think the scent is terrible. Um, and it's not like it's a light scent either. For me, it's actually quite prominent on the face. Let me kind of wash off my face, and I guess we'll get to the post shave and the final thoughts. I'll see you soon. Hey guys, post shave time. This is so dry, like, this might even be more drying than the other two. Yeah, gonna need a push here with that. We're gonna use a balm today instead of the elixir. We're gonna use the best balm, which is Singari Man. Let's get that on the face. Two squirts. So again, like another, like a product like this, the post shave is not supposed to be great. But what it goes to show is if I use that and just put on a bomb, the post shave doesn't matter as much anymore. If you have dry skin, you might find like the, you just can't really afford your skin to be dried out anyway. And in that case, the drying of the soap is bad, but in the long run, I don't think it's too, too bad. Arco. What do I think? It performs very well. I think it lathers quite poorly. Uh, I managed to build a decent lather with it, but I, I found the lather was pretty airy. Um, it lacks density. Even when comparing it to the other two sticks I've done in the previous episodes, I think they lather better. However, the performance of this is stellar. Um, it's very, very slick. I noticed that immediately. And for me, what I would say is if you pick, pick up all three and you're curious to try either one of the sticks, if you dislike the scent of this, I would consider using this because of the performance. I, it, I would, it is noticeably slicker than the other two. However, the other performance aspects of it, the way it lathers and the scent, it's just not my sort of thing. Um, I'm less inclined to bring this versus palm olive or Latoha for me personally. I could see why one would use it though, because of its damn good slickness. It's, very, very slick, <laughs> I have to say that. So that, that's, that's Arco. Our razor today was the Tatara Masamune Nadachi on the shorter handle. And the brush was the Declaration B5 in this beautiful hybrid turn and shave handle. But yeah, I, I, like I said, in conclusion, if you like, if you di don't dislike the scent of Arco, I would consider using that over the other two. If you really like the scent of one of them, then obviously use that. But like, if you're indifferent on all of the scents and you want pure performance, I would actually recommend Arco. The other two, I, I much prefer the way they smell. However, I do have to say that I don't think the performance is quite, good, quite as good, but yeah. If you guys have enjoyed the episode today and you know around here, please consider subscribing. I very, very much appreciate it. Like I said at the start of the video, you guys are just blowing this series out of the water and I, I very much appreciate you guys turning up to every 
fucking episode and commenting and liking and just chatting to me about the certain subs, what you want me to see. What do you want me to see next? Tell me what you want me to use next. I'm going to use it. I have quite a lot of stuff still to go. So this is still going to be going for a few more weeks yet. And uh, yeah, I can't wait. Um, something I'm probably going to do, I'm probably going to do a massive giveaway right at the end of it where I give away absolutely everything I've been reviewing because there's some certain stuff I want around, but I feel like I want to pay you guys back. So We'll wait till that ends. It's going to be a while yet anyway. But yeah, I appreciate you guys coming today, watching the video, liking, chatting to me. My name is Jack, your host from the Virtual Grim Room. Wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful day. And goodbye for now. Arco smells terrible.